For over 80 years, the fate of Arizona's wildlife has been in the hands of the Arizona Game and Fish Commission, a five-member board appointed by the governor. The Citizen Panel establishes policy for the management, preservation, and harvest of wildlife. The director of Arizona Game and Fish, who controls all department functions and activities, serves at the pleasure of the commission. So it, it tends to insulate him from day-to-day -day politics. I mean, obviously, he still has a relationship with a state agency as a state agency, but he has the insulation of having the commission, and it's a five-panel uh, commission. One of the interesting pieces, though, is it's, everybody says it's hard to work for more than one boss. Our director then has five bosses, but, but it really does take uh, a group of people th talking and working together to make this work. When Arizona became a state in 1912, much of its wildlife and habitat were in dire straits. After a year of political wrangling, the state's new game code was adopted and Governor George Hunt appointed the first game warden. It was then that the fledgling Game and Fish Department began to take shape. Prior to 1929, when the first Arizona Game and Fish Commission was seated, wildlife management was in the hands of the legislature. In 1923, citizens and businessmen who wanted the state's wildlife managed by science and not political whim formed the Arizona Game Protective Association and began to lobby hard for a commission form of wildlife management. 1928, they made a big push for it. The Arizona Game Protective Association at that time was the, the strongest lobby for wildlife in Arizona, and that was very powerful. And they finally got enough signatures to get this the referendum thing through, which was the referendum was to abolish the old game code, and then the new game code would also have this provision for a commission in it. To further limit political pressure on the commission members, it was established that no more than one commissioner may be from any one county, and no more than three may be from the same political party. Each commissioner serves a five-year staggered term, and they customarily serve as chairman during the last year of their term. You know, and the final piece that we have is commission is the only state agency where the public has direct access to the final decision makers. Our meetings are very much in the public eye all the time. They can come, anyone in the state can come and talk directly to the commission before a decision is made. It's really fun to be involved in this process. It may sound a bit cumbersome, but it actually works very well for us. It's allowed the state to manage the resources without doing something stupid. One of the primary purposes of the commission is to keep dumb things from happening. Uh, and this is one of the intentions of the commission. We had people of various interests and so forth, but over and all, they've demonstrated a very high quality of commitment to a wildlife resource. And I think that's true to this day. It's worked very well for us over the, the number of years. We're unique in the sense also that we manage a diverse group of wildlife and people in our state. One of the things, we have 800 species, a little over 800 species of wildlife that we manage uh, and, and try to work with and control for the state of Arizona and the people in, inside the state. And we have everybody from hunters and anglers to the bird watchers, to the outdoor enthusiasts, to the people who just want to have outdoor recreation, uh, trail bikes, uh, off-road uh, vehicles, and watercraft. So we have a very broad range of people and wildlife that we try to manage. But one of the things that I found out uh, is even with all the time commitment, it's where you can truly make a difference for wildlife of the state. Uh, I absolutely have been an outdoor enthusiast. I'm a actually consumptive user. I hunt and fish and like the outdoors that way. But one of the things is, is I can help manage a broad range of wildlife and make it better. And the reason I wanted to do it is because I want my grandkids to be able to enjoy the outdoors however they choose to enjoy it in the future.